What's going on everyone? It's Sean from Barbellville Body and today we're talking about the bench press again. Uh, we're talking about slowing down your descent for a better ascent. So slowing down the eccentric so you get a better concentric, right? So you, the goal is to set yourself up for the best positioning during the concentric portion or pushing the bar off your chest to lockout, right? You don't fail lifts during the eccentric, the eccentric portion, portion of the lift when you're bringing the bar down. You fail it coming up. So what happens, uh, where, where are you going wrong? You're going wrong with, you're either losing tension during the eccentric portion, you're, uh, you're misgrooving the, uh, where the bar lands on your chest, setting up for a poor pressing position for the concentric uh, portion of the lift, and then you fail in the sticking point, right? When that happens, oftentimes a few inches off your chest. So people oftentimes want to go fast. And the reason for that is often that, well, I mean, there's multiple reasons, obviously people want to, you get hyped up. It's hard not to, it's hard to kind of control it and go slow, but there's so many things that technically go wrong where you put yourself in a, in a poor position. Now you do get a more of an elastic, uh, a rebound during the stretch shortening cycle by a rapid eccentric contraction followed by a rapid concentric. The problem is, I don't think that benefit, um, first of all, you're not gonna get that when you're in a competition because you have to get the press command to uh, finish the lift from the bottom. But second, you're not gonna be able to, if you miss groove and you place, if the bar comes down and hits you in the wrong spot of the chest, or you lose tension in your upper back, that's gonna do way more damage uh, than if you just slow the lift down initially. So slow it down, keep the tension in your upper back, keep, allow that bar to hit your chest in the exact same spot every time, and then explode up. Now, another reason, another helpful thing to think about is you wanna match when you are lifting heavy loads, and we'll talk, to probably do a different video about this for power training, is when you are lifting heavy loads, so close to max, you wanna match that force of the bar as close as possible. The reason for this is if you basically have a rapid acceleration of the bar downwards, you have minimal force applied to the bar, right? So way less than the bar, that's why it's coming down. That means you have to catch it at the bottom, right? And oftentimes this catch, it leads to either kind of a weird bounce where then it puts you in a poor position or it, it misses the chest, the spot on your chest that is an optimal position. In either case, you're setting yourself up for failure in the concentric portion of the lift. So it's way more important to maintain technique. That's what this is about. So slow your descent to maintain technique so you can have a good concentric portion of the lift for a successful lift. Uh, if you, as soon as you have everything grooved, if you decide that you like to descend faster. Now, I will say, if you look at somebody like uh, Kirill Sarachev, he's a textbook. Uh, example of what I'm, uh, what I'm talking about right now in this video. So if you haven't seen him bench press, he is perfectly grooved. It's one of the reasons he's top three in the world <laughs> for raw pressing, but perfectly grooved, slow and controlled, comes down, presses right back up. Now, um, like I said, once you get to an elite level and you know your bench press and you're grooved, you can do different things. If you want to talk about the number one raw uh, bench presser in the world, Julius Maddox, he has a different style and he does go a lot faster, but He's the best bench presser in the world. He's grooved, he knows his style. And his style is, he goes slow, a little bit slow the first half of the descent. As soon as almost like he gets in a groove, then he rapidly descends the last half to his chest, pauses, and then explodes up with some of the fastest and most insane concentric power in the bench press ever, which is why he's number one in the world. So, moral of the story is get your technique down first so you have to be able to maintain uh, adequate tension and you have to be able to hit that bar on the exact same part of your chest every time to set yourself up for the best concentric contraction and best uh, ascent of the lift, right? You're not gonna fail lift bringing the bar down to your chest. It's okay, you're way stronger in the eccentric portion of the lift. Slow it down, allow yourself to have that best technical uh, advantage during the pressing portion, during the upward ascent of the lift to maximize strength output and have the best uh, PR numbers you can have. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, drop them below. Send them to my email, barbellbuiltbody at gmail.com. Make sure to give me a follow on Instagram, at barbellbuiltbody. I'll talk to you guys soon with more tips.